Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're going to be talking about Destiny 2. Now, specifically, we're going to be looking at some weird things. So first and foremost, so before we start with the video, I just wanted to let you guys know that a high percentage of people that watch my videos are not subscribed according to my analytics. So if you could do me a favor and subscribe, hit that bell notification. I would very much appreciate it. If you like my content, if you like just me in general, that would really help me out. So on with the video. So with that out of the way, Lev, real quick, I do apologize if you guys hear my air conditioning on. It's currently really hot in Florida and I know that probably might not resonate that well with certain people right now considering what's happening in like Texas and like just apparently the whole world is cold right now. I, I'm sorry, <laughs> just Florida's hot right now and my condolences, the condolences do go out to the people that are suffering right now. So let's talk about if season of the chosen is any good or not if you want my honest opinion about if this season's good or not and let me just put this out there because i know people are going to tell me this is not the review video this is my thoughts on why people think this season's good and why why like why i think that and honestly it's not like some brainchild idea that i had it's just literally like common sense do i think this season's good or great i think this season's turning out to be really fucking good probably one of the best we've seen and when i say this i'm talking like this has already easily hit over season of dawn for me like season of dawn i know i know a lot of people are going to be throwing uh, like questions at me like season of dawn was really good bruh oh for sure i loved season of dawn season of dawn weapons were fire season of dawn the activity was cool and then uh the secret mission, I personally didn't give a shit about because, eh, what the fuck ever. Uh, but I will not take away from people's enjoyment if they thought it was cool. Hey, man, more to you. I just don't think it was a community event when it was just like three, four people doing pretty much everything. But it's it just it is what it is. I think Season of the Chosen has a lot of potential to be one of the best seasons we've seen almost comparable to season of the menagerie if they keep the same energy throughout the whole season because the weapons fire super fire the only thing that i think is unfair is the fact that this season has a lot more gear because of the new changes they've been doing so realistically if they we didn't get the new season weapons and the new uh when i say season weapons i specifically mean the playlist weapons the nightfall weapons like all, all those weapons and the moon and the dreaming city weapons and armor as well like there's just so much that this season has given us loot wise is why i think people are really happy and excited for this season because we got a lot of stuff like we like realistically love it or hate it we did get a lot of stuff from the moon i mean well, i say a lot but it's just one armor set and like four or five weapons from each location we also got six playlist weapons in total so two for gambit two for crucible and two for vanguard plus the three weapons from uh from the nightfalls so technically the vanguard got five and i mean if you really if you really want to be technical they got more than five they got seven because of the mm, seven no eight because of the depths then trials got new armor and weapon as well like this season was already better than most because of the sheer amount of stuff we were already gonna get. And the fact that they give us more stuff with the moon and Dreaming City. Again, doesn't matter what how you feel about it, that is still more loot at the end of the day. It's the fact that we got so much loot is why the season feels so good. The fact that we got the secret mission two weeks in to the season which i applaud bungie that's really smart if next week we get another thing like this where it's like hey this week you get to do the master the master uh, exotic quest then i'm gonna be like yeah another slap that's a slap right there that's fire that's good because that way people can start farming the 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 random rolls they want like I personally was pretty negative about the roadmap when I saw it, and I kind of still feel that way, to be quite honest. Uh, the fact that Iron Banner is on there, but we were getting no new armor from what I've heard, and two returning weapons again, it's just lackluster for me as an Iron Banner 
fan. I love Iron Banner. So for me, I'm just kind of like, well, Iron the fucking doesn't matter. Like, I, w I would love for them to, like, either dip back into their Destiny 1 armor, armor weapon or armor schemes or just bring us back an armor, like an armor set from Destiny 1 at this point. Because getting the same armor I've gotten twice already, in some cases three times, and if the fucking rumors are true, we're gonna get the, what's it called? We're gonna get the Iron True, from what I've heard, we're gonna get the Iron Truage armor set again. If we get the Iron Truage armor set again, I'm literally gonna be making a rant video because I don't wanna get that armor set for the fourth fucking time. Because again, like I said, fourth fucking time. So, I'm not, in the mood to get that armor set again realistically yeah so obviously this season just has so much stuff pinned for it to be a good season and part of the re part of the another reason is because we've had really shitty dlcs uh love it or hate it season of dawn was probably the best one we had weapon wise and just overall was really good and season of <laughs> so let's let's start from the beginning i think uh shadow keep and season season of the undying were probably some of the weakest storytelling and overall content i've seen in a in a yearly expansion in forever actually at all for, if I'm being completely honest that was supposed to be our forsaken that was supposed to be our taken king and what we got was nothing like that a shadow of its former self if you will and season of the undying was basically just oh man dude that was a bad season as well I was there for that I started covering destiny uh, or I started I started my YouTube channel when uh shadow keep was coming out because uh actually that's a lie i started on season of, Men of menagerie and then we started talking about shadow keep and shadow keep was uh it's kind of disappointing oh man let's talk about that uh eververse took a bunch of stuff that shouldn't have been to eververse the raid had a reskinned armor set from eververse dude the seasonal activity was actually good i actually did like the seasonal activity but was ruined because the last event of that season was just a reskin of the boss we've been fighting forever there was no new loot there was no new nothing people wanted at least some sort of reward or cutscene we got none of that it was basically just that's it you're that's you're done hey you did it that's it that's really it and it blowed dicks, uh, blowed a lot of dicks. Season of Dawn was good. That's when the armor changes came in, and it was good. I think the Season of Dawn like armor sets were fire. I loved them. Um, I'm not gonna talk about the the uh, Season Pass armor because I think all of the armor sets were cool in their own way. I'm not that picky when it comes to the seasonal armor sets, the those, mostly because those are supposed to be thematic to what the season is, so I genuinely, genuinely, generally do not really go that crazy with it. I'll definitely critique it, but overall I will never be like, I, I fucking hate this, like I will never probably ever be like that. I'll definitely nitpick like when they make a certain armor set to not be able to change colors somehow. Or, oh, I like personally don't like this or that. Like, I will nitpick and be and critique, but I appreciate that they're making the armor around the theme of the season. So obviously, the the ornaments we got for Season of Dawn were probably the best. If I'm being honest, it, it was the best we've ever seen. That shit is literal fucking heat, dog. And if you missed out, I feel bad for you because they most likely will never come back. Because, again, I've said this before, it would devalue the season pass. Because if you just can wait later, then you don't... Like, you, it would devalue it. Like, I don't have to explain this. And th is that me saying I don't want them to bring him back? I don't give a fuck. If Bungie was like, 
if, if they asked me, would you be bothered if people could buy your ornament for like 10 bucks after the season was over? I'd be like, I don't really give a fuck, dog. I'm whatever, dude, whatever. I don't, I don't understand when people try to gatekeep like, oh, I was there, so you shouldn't get that. What? Fuck you. It's, that's stupid. Fuck you. So, I don't want to talk about that because I'll get mad. But, Season of Dawn, overall, I think was really good. Uh, activity was good. The weapons were actual fire. And Line in the Sand made me care about uh, fu uh, linear fusion rifles, at least that one only. And then brought one of my favorite weapons to the game, which was Trophy Hunter. I love that weapon. Sad it's fucking sunset, and I'm never erasing it because I love that gun. And overall, the season did bring some heat. I think we had one of the weakest exotics, exotic quests we've ever seen in Destiny. It was literally just like two steps, and they gave you the gun. Don't get me wrong, the the end of it was fire, but overall it was pretty disappointing. Then, Season of Worthy, which Season of the Worthy was probably the worst, the worst, the worst... And I mean this when I say the worst DLC I've ever played from Bungie. And I am even putting that above Curse of Osiris. I think Curse of Osiris is better. Cur Curse of Osiris has so many faults that I can't explain it all in this one video. But I will say, at least it gave us weapons that I gave a shit about. And I know people are going to tell me, Oh, but it gave us the Warmind stuff. I don't give a fuck, dog. I... C oh, man. If I could tell you how many fucks I do not give a fuck about that system, I'd ex I'd be here for a while. Don't get me wrong. I like I like the charge with light system. I like pretty much all the builds we have. I just don't care, especially when they're connected to a gun. A gun that's a little much, especially when sun settings now a thing. So, excuse me if I don't care about a system that's really only gonna be here until sunsetting ends it and even then they'll probably bring back some weapons to be like oh well you can still use it because we don't want you to lose that system even though apparently it's super broken uh you know whatever season of season of arrivals which is the season i always forget the name because i think it's a dumb name was good it was a good season i think uh Definitely, the I think that definitely part of the reason why we think it's so great is because it gave us a dungeon, which I still think it was slated for Beyond Light, but they were like, we need to fix this now because Season of the Worthy was bad. We need to give them something that's going to be literal heat. And not only that, we have to take the Eververse armor from uh, whatever was it, Season of the Worthy, or no, no, Season of the Arrivals and just put it in that. Or I don't, I don't even remember. What was it? I remember they took the armor from Eververse and put it in in the thing, which was the Moonfang armor, if I remember correctly. The Moonfang armor was like what we got. That wasn't supposed to be our, our reward. I remember that was actually the seasonal armor for Eververse, if I remember correctly. I don't remember the seasonal armor for Season of Arrivals. Yeah, there wasn't one, so that was it. So that was literally them just trying to cover their ass, which is why I think like Season of Rivals did as well as it did, because essentially everyone got a free ornament. Uh, which all you had to do was play pro the Prophecy Dungeon like for five weeks in a row, which is not that hard. Like, yeah, I soloed it. You can do it too. So it's it's funny because like people will always remember like oh this season was really good because of this but it's like well you got to remember that before the season was really bad like really bad like really really fucking bad like people like to say oh season of arrivals was so fucking good but it's like yeah because season of, season of the worthy was so bad like all you could do is go up it's the same thing with season of the chosen in my opinion where it's like oh my god season of the chosen is so good it's like yeah because season of the hunt was really fucking bad it was way worse than season of the worthy in my opinion so it's like of course it's doing really well it, it can go it can go nowhere but up so i know that's a really convoluted of just saying like yeah because last season sucked but essentially that's how i feel about it uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I wanted to make this video not to like pretty much drag everyone down to my level of uh, 
negativeness, whatever people want to say. I just want to put some perspective out there that, like, that's why it's so good right now. It's because last season sucked donkey dick. <laughs> last season was bad, guys. Like, so, I'm happy. I'm all for it. I just, I don't want the next season to be bad and then the season after that to be good again because that's just... That's, it's fucking tiring, bro. Just make a season that's decent and then good and then decent. Like, I just want decent. You know how sad? What, whatever. We're not going to go through that because, like, I just... I already feel myself getting emotional. Let me know what you th your thoughts in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on my social media, all these things are in the description below. I appreciate every one of you that likes, comments, subscribes, shares your, the videos. I really do. Uh, making, making content in general is really hard, especially when you have to do one each day. I don't have to do one each day, but I like to. And yeah, I really appreciate when you guys comment. Uh, commenting, honestly, is like something that I appreciate far more than anything else. So thank you guys.